Hi students, good morning. This is Amanda. Welcome back to the academic year of 2021. I hope all of you out there are doing safe and doing good. Yes, congratulations students on moving to grade 5. It's nice and we are all happy to have you guys here. And uh, believe me, once we get back to school, we are going to have uh, a lot of fun in learning. So today we're going to just do uh, a recap on what Subhalakshmi Ma'am has taught you in session one. For all of you who attended session one, the topic that Subhalakshmi Ma'am taught you was on the poem books. Yes? So... So this is the poem written by the poet Eleanor Fargin. So today I am going to tell you a little story on why the poet wrote this poem on books. The poet wanted to let all of us know how important is a book in our day-to-day -day lives. What in, in, the, in different ways it helps us. She wanted to bring out the importance of each and every book in our life. She tells us in this poem that each and every book plays an important role in our life. It creates many new ideas which helps us see a new world. You guys might, uh, you know, sit somewhere wherever you are comfortable when you read a book, a story, a novel, yeah, whatever it may be. Yes. And when you start reading a book, for example, this poem, for those, for some of us, we might imagine ourselves in the character that we like. Yes. Maybe something known to us or something that we never know. Yes. Something that is really new to us. But we still want to imagine ourselves in that position. Yes. In this poet, in this poem, the books, the poet says each and every book here is a magic box. Why does she have to say that a book is a magic box? Anyone, any ideas, any guesses? Yes. It is. When we take a book or when we take touch a book and once we start to read, our mind would not permit us to close the book unread. It it will keep us it will keep on building a curiosity. We get very curious to know what is happening in the story. What is going to be next? Yes. And in some part of our life, each and every line or each and every paragraph here is linked with our lives. And that is why the poet here says that a book plays a major role in everyone's life. So it is very important to read and to get to know what is happening in our world, to build our imagination, to build our vocabulary skills. Yes. Yes. So this is what the poem, the poet here is telling us. The importance of a 
I also have an animation for you here. But before we move on to the animation, I would like all of you to repeat, to recite the poem along with me. Ready? Yeah. Books written by Eleanor Fargin. What worlds of wonder are our books as one opens them and looks. New ideas and people rise in our fancy and in our eyes. The room melts away and we find ourselves at play with someone who before the end may become a chosen friend or we sail along the page to some other land or age. Here's a body in the chair but our mind is over there. Each book is a magic box which with a touch a child unlocks. In between their outside covers, books hold all things for their lovers. So yeah, it was an interesting poem to read. Yes, I hope all of you did read this poem with me, did recite this poem with me and I guess that all of you like the poem as I do. Now moving forward, I also have an animation as I said. Let's watch. Books by Eleanor Fajan. <coughs> What worlds of wonder are our books? As one opens them and looks, new ideas and people rise in our fancies and our eyes. The room we sit in melts away and we find ourselves at play with someone who, before the end, may become our chosen friend. Or we sail along the page to some other land or age. Here's our body in the chair, but our mind is over there. Each book is a magic box, which with a touch a child unlocks. In between their outside covers, books hold all things for their lovers. Yeah, wasn't that nice? So I also have an assignment. The assignment for today would be, uh, before we move forward, I want you to do this assignment in a rough note. So when we get back, when you get back to school, we would be checking this. Okay. So the first question I have: Can you think of an alternative title? for the poem books why do you think the speaker uses the word we and are and not me and my write a paragraph in about 50 words on the topic an interesting person you haven't met. The fourth question. Write down the rhyming words from the para and then add another word of your own. Your fifth question. What kind of books do you like to read and why?
the next i have a couple of hard words and their meanings related to the poem the first hard word is ideas the meaning plans thoughts or suggestions second one fancies the meaning wishes and dreams third one imagination the meaning the ability to create pictures in the mind the fourth one wonder the meaning a feeling of surprise and admiration the last the hard word inspiration the meaning a person or thing is the reason behind a creation yes so before you come back to school learn to recite the poem complete the homework given to you for the day and go through the these hard words and the meanings and i also think that subhlakshmi ma'am in the previous session has given you an assignment on the same poem and she's asked you guys to illustrate yes so you illustrate the poem you write down the assignment and you uh, learn to recite the poem and go through these hard words and the meanings so once we get back to school we will be looking in to each of these things okay yeah so today's session is done for the day you all have a nice day yes take care and be safe and protected till we meet once again all right bye